Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So the name of my channel is called The Crap I Buy. So I buy either good crap or bad crap. It's you to decide. And my shitty ass phone, my shitty ass camera, and my shitty ass self, but it doesn't matter because you know what? I love doing videos and I'm gonna invest in, in good technology, but right now, at least you guys know that what I'm telling is the truth. And what I wanna talk today it's not about crappy stuff, but about uh, crappy situations. Because if you're watching this, it means that you need help on, you know, something. And I'm here to give you my experience and my honest thoughts on, on what's going on, you know? So today we're going to talk uh, on how to pick up a guy and why the guy ghosts you, why you guys do what they do, you know? I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion about this. So basically, um, for me, in high school, I didn't have a boyfriend. University, I didn't have a boyfriend. Just at the end of university, I ended up with somebody, but he came to me, and then like I ended up in Yellowknife, in the middle of nowhere, for three years. It was a good relationship overall, but I couldn't be in Yellowknife for so long. It's like minus 40 right now. And then after this, I went to Toronto and I didn't have a boyfriend for at least 10 years. I had one fling with somebody for six months, that's it. I've been single for a long time. I went to a lot to date. Um, I've been in a relationship for three years, but then I've been single for a long time. I understand guys very well. And I've been a tomboy, I've been raised with guys. So me, my problem basically is that if I like a guy, I have a hard time to talk to him. And I try to get his attention by basically ignoring him. I feel like ignoring is going to show him that I like him or show him that I'm dominant. Show him that I'm better than him. Show him that I actually like doesn't care about him and he's going to care about me. It's mind games. Number one, pick up a guy. Stop the crap games. The, the guys doesn't like it. Like The reason we pursue you is because he wants you because you're playing games. But then after he got you, he's gonna play his games and give you headaches because it started with games. It's always games, games, games. Oh, I'm not gonna text him, I'm gonna wait like two hours. Why? If he really likes you, he doesn't care because you don't know if he likes you because you feel insecure. If you wanna play those games, the minute he gets you, he's gonna let you go, cheat on you, just leave you. Like, because it's just like the pursuit thing is bad. Oh, he used to text me so much and now he stopped. Yeah, because he got you. <laughs> like, you know, it's just a game for him too, you know? So, you know, don't play games. And if you want to get a guy, don't in your M. So, 10 years ago, when I moved to Toronto, I went to a club. And the owner of the club, I first met him and I it was instant love. Like, I thought it was love or lust or whatever it was. Like, you know, it was just some chemicals in my brain that make me like him. For 10 years, I tried to get his attention by ignoring him. You think that it worked? No, it didn't work at all. I think that right now he thinks I'm bad shit crazy. So that's okay because I did things to ban myself from this club to never go back because I didn't want to see him ever again because I used to cry. If I think about him, I, I want to cry because I, I never felt this way. Like, you know, like, Love at first sight is, is for real, like it exists. It's just chemicals in your brain that wants to make you mate with somebody. And this guy was just perfect for me, for the outside. Even the inside, what I could tell about him was good. But I tried to get his attention by ignoring him. I go to the club, I'm the hottest girl, I dance, I talk to everybody. He never spoke to me, never came to me, never approached me. I was waiting for that. I was waiting for him to approach me and it never worked. Only time I would speak to him is when I go by shit crazy. That's another topic. I have insomnia and I don't sleep for three days. I go all crazy and I talk to him on the phone, like with texting. Now he's it, like, because you hold it so much inside of you that you explode. It's not good as, as well. Like, you know, uh, what you need to do is super simple. That guy had a fling for six months. I ignored him too. I actually like was working with him and I was always ignoring him. Billy talked to him. But one day his friend texted me and said like, oh, can I go to your place? I'm going to bring this guy. And he came. And you know what I did? I just talk. I talk, 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 tal
and I didn't let him talk that much. I asked a couple of questions, but I was talking more. And he started to like me because you know what? Guys are visual. When you talk, they mostly will listen, but sometimes they're gonna drift off to your lips. You're gonna check your lips, check your eyes, check your nose, check your boobs, check everything, you know? And you know, like you talk and you do this, you do that. That means you like, you like him. Uh, you touch your neck a little bit, you know, you smile, you know, and you talk, you know. I used to go on dates and I, I used to let them talk and it never works. When they talk, they don't look at you, you know. You need to make them look at you and then you need to talk because they get to learn to know you, but you give them attention and guys love attention. That club guy in your M, if I would came to him and said something, Blah, 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 blah. Probably went on a date with him, but he wasn't interested because I wasn't talking to him. And that's a problem, you know? That's a problem. Uh, it's, it's not healthy to play games. It's not healthy to have a strategy. It's just like things go naturally. And the best advice I can give you guys, if you're still watching this, be friends with a guy. Talk, 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 talk. And then he tried to go with you. He can play hard to get, but not like... Oh, I'm gonna ignore him now and I'm gonna like send my friends to try to pick him up to see if like no, 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 just be friends with him be friends and say no I'm not ready right now I want to get to know you better let's be friends you know or don't say nothing just be natural like you know um, be friends with somebody you get to know the person who he really is and you can tell all the red flags because one of my biggest advice is look at the red flags don't fall in love right away like the guy is perfect for you look at the red signs there's always red signs like for example if the guy like texts you for like two weeks non-stop and then diminish and stop that's a red flag he just wants to pursue you if you have sex with a guy and then he doesn't pay attention to you anymore he just want to have sex with you he doesn't care about you like you know and then you have to accept the truth like it's just don't waste your time so, so many girls they waste their time because we get emotionally attached and then we think that nobody else would be like him. Yes, there are gonna be a tons of guys like him, okay? It's just that he doesn't care about you and then you, you, you wanna get him to like you because it's like an ego trip or is that you really like him and you don't understand why he stopped talking to you because he's playing games too. Stop playing the games yourself and just be real. And if he wants to play the games, just move on. Like, just like, screw it. Like, you don't need this shit. You need a relationship. You don't need to play games. What are you, you like a twister game? Like you're like a freaking video game place? Like what are you doing you're playing games? You're never gonna get a guy. Like, you know, I don't see the romantic love stories. Like, yeah, I used to play games. I used to text him every two hours and then I stopped for three days. And then like, no, it's like we met, we went to dinner, we talked, we got along. Good, and everything went naturally, you know? Um, why guys ghost you because they just don't care about you enough and you know like if they really care about you the guy is it's not really gonna pursue you but it's gonna be available for you it's gonna answer the phone for you it's gonna be there like you know it's gonna if you ask like i test the guy sometimes i ask advice and I know when he's interested, when he takes the time to give me advice. When he, he cares about me, when I have trouble, he's going to be there right away. Like, no even thinking, oh, I don't have the time. No, 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 what's going on? Like, I know he cares like this. He doesn't have to bring you flowers and bring you chocolate. What do you want this crap in a way? Well, I want him to prove me he loves me. Okay, shut up. Like, you know, just like ask advice. Guys love to give advice. And pay attention to his work. Guys, like, they're going to put work before you. Because the guys is so much pressure to have resources. So if you help him with work, give him, give him, him advice about work. And listen to his work. And, and be there for him and his work. You know, work for him too. Like, you know, he asks you favors, do it. It's going to start liking you. Because guys get attached quicker than women. But guys doesn't let, allow themselves to attach. But once they attach, they, they hook. They hook for a long, 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 long time, longer than women. Women, we, like me, I'm crying one night, full night until five o'clock, and then I'm over the guy. 
it's done. Except a club guy. That club guy, I never got him. That's why. Like, probably my ego. It's like, I never got him. I generally like them, but in a way, like, I banned myself from his club. <laughs> I'm never going to go back. You know, I did some bad stuff. But at the end of the day, you need to basically be friends with him, talk a lot, be natural. And, like, if you don't feel pretty enough, women, like, men doesn't want a Kim Kardashian or supermodel. They want a good person. They want a good heart person. They want a person they can trust. They want a person they can talk to. They want a person you can get along. A person that's smart. You know, you don't have to be the prettiest girl. You know, they're going to find anything about you that's going to be pretty. You know, don't ever feel like you're ugly. You know, I always feel this way. And I always feel like if I like a guy, I'm going to bother him. Just go and vomit everything you have to say. Just vomit it. Like, you know, blah, 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 blah. Don't speak too loud. Don't speak too too fast. Don't look batshit crazy, but just talk and talk and talk and talk. They're going to start paying that and look at you. Oh, she's so pretty, man. Oh, my God. That's what happened to me in that work. I hate going on dates, too. Like, you know, I hate Tinder. I hate those dating apps. I'm so selective. Sometimes the best guys, you just meet them randomly. You know, you meet them somewhere, and then you just have a good conversation, and then just it, it's off. But don't get emotionally attached too quick. Let the guy get attached because it's going to be hook up, hook on you for a long time. Don't get attached because if you start getting attached, you get weak. You're not going to be thinking properly. That's what happened to the club guy. I, was, I couldn't think because I got attached right away. So I was like, my brain was not like all there. I, I, I didn't know what to say to him. I was like, go, 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 go. my heart was pumping. I was so nervous. I was shaking. I was like, I'm, I'm not in control. I... It's, it's not working because whatever I'm going to say is going to be stupid. And I tried to talk to him one time. I asked him directly to have sex with him because it is the first shit that came out of my mind. And I was like, what the hell I said? And he was like, no, no, no. Like, I'm in a relationship. Like, some excuse. But I knew deep down I, I really fuck it up. Like, you know, because I was so nervous. So get in control of your emotions and, and, and don't get attached. Look at the red sign and 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 wait until he attached to you then let it out that's okay like you know like they always say a guy is going to take him so much more to get over a girl than a guy like the girl like the guy they probably think about an high school crush still like you know um girls is a little bit easier to but we get through more pain than the guys because we go through crying to upset blah 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 the guy is just going to keep inside for so long so let the guy attach to you first. That's, that's, that's the deal breaker for me. It's when I see a guy that I like that basically not interested. You know, I just, I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. You know, you, like, you have to court the guy. You try, 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 try. It's like, and it just like doesn't text you at all. But you need to make the work. You need to make the work. Like, you need to work for it. And I, I have a hard time with that. I need to work on that. You need to make the work. And then try to call him almost every day or talk to him every day. Be present. But you don't have to be obsessive. But, you know, ask him, like, oh, can I call you when you're off work and you're, like, relaxing? He's going to say yes. If you're always in his mind, eventually he's going to get attached. Don't, like send him, like, that much text and blah, 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 blah. They hate that. They think you're batshit crazy. Especially when women is overleading. We go so crazy with the guy. We're just like, blah, 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 blah. Like, oh, my God. The guy's like, okay, she's crazy. They just keep composure. It's kind of playing a game in a way, but it's not. Because you kind of yourself, you're not, like, totally authentic. Because if you're, like, authentic and you like to see, like, blah, 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 maybe you have a problem, man, I say you need to you need to work on that like you know you need to, you need to be natural you need to be just yourself just like go with the flow but try to use a strategy that okay can i talk to you like after 11 and then you call him after 11 you have a small conversation you talk about your stuff blah 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 and then you let him talk about his stuff blah 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 but try to be always in his mind and part of his life it's not all about you doesn't mean you have a pussy that you're better it's about him as well, you know? And a healthy relationship is half half. When I have a relationship, I like to bring my guy to dinner and pay dinner for him. I like to buy him stuff. It's not about you always getting the stuff. He's going to get tired of you, you know? And it's not about like 
adding in, like, when my guy, he was flirting with other girls, I was like, yeah, go ahead, but he's come back to me at the end. I know that. I don't care, like, you guys need to flirt, like, or you think they're gonna have sex with the same vagina for, like, 10 years and never look at another girl ever? What the, like, are you psycho? Like, the guys are men, like, programmed to reproduce. Are you gonna really get up in shit because you look at some other woman's ass? I look at the woman's ass myself. So, you know, that's pushed the guys away. And that's one of the reasons the guys cheat because they feel so controlled that they just need a release with somebody else that's new and fresh. So I always try to be new and fresh. Um, you know, I always do something different. Like, you know, I wear a wig sometimes. Hey, you can call me Stacy tonight. <laughs> no, it's it's fun. Like you, you do something different and you know, you're positive and you make him better. You know, some women, they try to control the guy and, and bring him down. And they want, like, mm, you're a man. You, you you bring me down. You make me feel bad. So I'm going to make you feel bad, too. I'm going to bring you down. No, it's like, bring him up. It's so important to bring the guy up and always push him to be better. I like my man to be dominant and to be better than me. You know, so I'm going to always work for him to be better than me. If I'm getting better than him, I'm going to push him further to get better than me. I like the guys when they, they take care of me. In a way that, like, if I need advice, if something happens, and they're gonna be there, like, you know, they don't have to always give me full attention. So, um, and then at the end of the day, like, if the guy cheat on you, like, don't make it the end of the world. Bring in, like, bring you shopping or something, like, you know, talk to him, explain to you, to him how you feel, explain your emotions, and say, it hurt me. It's hurtful when you cheat on me. But if you break up with him, like a five-year relationship because you cheat on you one time, like it happens, they slip up. Guys, fuck up, okay? Like it's, oh, he doesn't love me for real. No, guys, doesn't get attached to sex. Sex is sex. Love is love. It's different. Us, it's like sex is love. So, you know, like I have my, my ex-boyfriend, he told me like, oh, I cheated on you. I was like, with who? Like, <laughs> who replaced me? Like, you know, I didn't freak out. And I said, you know what? why you did this and I, I try to make it peaceful and positive and like if he does it all the freaking time now there's a problem but if he screw up one time was drunk with his friend went to Vegas and he have sex with a girl are you really gonna all this against him no bring me shopping I want a new Pat McGrath palette and I want a new Chanel purse oh uh, yeah like, at least make him, like, do something for, for him, like, a consequences of his action. Make him do something for you. Fix the toilet. Do that. Do that. You know? Uh, it's probably going to do it. But at the end of the day, like, try to be understanding of a guy. Like, I am a tomboy. I'm understanding guys very well. And they're very simple creatures. They're positive, fun, simple creatures. They want their girlfriend to love them. They want love. Like, we want love, but we want love a different way because our brain is wired a different way. They want love as much as we want love, but they will not express it the same way. Pick up the small things that they do for you, you know? Pick up the small things. If they do something good for you, pick it up and, 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 and acknowledge it, you know? Don't always pick up the bad stuff. Ignore the bad stuff or make it the bad stuff better. Like, Find a reason why this is happening, like, you know, and make it positive. If you don't have a positive mind frame, you will never be able to be in a positive relationship. You need to work on yourself first, and then you get in a relationship. So that's the mistakes I did, and that's the advice I have to give you. Guys, if you want to put a comment, put a positive comment, negative comments, I don't like them. It hurts me. My feelings get hurt a lot. Oh, I look so weird clothes, like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, don't, don't put anything negative. I'm, I'm going to ignore. Uh, put positive. Subscribe to my channel. I love my channel. I just started, but, you know, it's fun. And, yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it. So have a nice day, and then uh, I'll see you next time.